35 degrees to the t-shirt, sweatshirt, not smart. All right, so we're, we're obviously at Glacier Point, which is what all the signs say, Glacier Point. Um, it's like the, the, the highest point you can get to in Yosemite Valley and see the whole valley. I'm gonna try something with my camera. I'm gonna cross my fingers that I don't mess it up because if I don't mess it up, it'll be a really cool shot. Cross your fingers! Hello. How are you? Great, how are you? Good. Okay. So remember yesterday, Dee? I was taking the camera in the, in the museum and I was going down. That's where I was going down right there. Remember, I was moving it in the in the thing, just right there. What thing? Are you serious? Beautiful, but freezing. Oh, so cold. So it's like 35 degrees. On our way up here, it was snowing, and we're in like little thin sweatshirts and one layer, and our hands are cold, and it's time to go. A little too cold. It's time to skedaddle. Mountain climbers out there. I don't know if you can see that. There are dudes up there climbing up this thing. There's not a chance in hell I would ever do that. The trails around here, pretty awesome. They are like rustic enough to where you feel like you're like really kind of hiking and moving and out in the wilderness, but they're just paved enough that you don't have to kill yourself doing it. So those of you guys that follow me on Medium or Quora, I'm into like the stoic philosophies and stuff and I think that they're really applicable to just kind of everyday life. And there's nothing like being in a place where you're, can you guys see that? One of the stoic philosophies is to, is to just remember how small you are. And insignificant's not a great word to use, like it sounds negative, but insignificant's kind of the, it's kind of the point, like we're all, just like one little being on this planet in this lifetime and we shouldn't think of ourselves as so big just remember that you're just a you're just a piece of this huge puzzle that has really nothing to do with you and I think being able to walk by rocks and boulders like this size and look it up at these peaks and stuff like this really helps put that in perspective so the last time we came up here we um, it was with more of my, my extended family, like my aunt and uncle and stuff came up here, cousins. And we took uh, my grandma's ashes and spread some of her ashes here because this was one of her favorite places. But shh, don't tell anybody because I don't think you're supposed to spread ashes. I don't know exactly what the law is around that. I don't know if it's just Littering. Littering and. Littering and. and uh, littering and, and. Littering and. Uh, littering and. Or if it's something bigger than that, but let's just let's just keep that between me and you. Even though I don't think they can prove or disprove that she is here or not here. If you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think this tree has a uh, termites. Ooh wee. I 
we get to the fun part. We get to go uphill. Lots more rocks, lots more boulders. This is the cool part. Ooh, as long as you don't fall. I'll show you, check this out. Like with the number of vloggers and stuff that there are now, you'd think people would be used to uh, people walking around with like camera gear and stuff and those crazy like Joby tripods and man, every time I pull this thing out, people look at me like I'm walking around with a freaking like alien or something. It's pretty funny. So basically here we are, base of Half Dome, right here. And again, not to like get on the whole like stoicism thing or whatever, but it really does give you perspective when you can look up there, something like that, and you can look at like these boulders and stuff around us and really put you in perspective about kind of where you are. We're all just one little piece and one big puzzle. So. Places like Yosemite kind of help me get that perspective. Because things are so big, the walls are so high, and no matter how big and how strong these walls are, you're still looking at boulders. You're still looking at them com coming down. You're still looking at time wearing them down. No matter how strong they were at one point, they're this at others. And I can remember, camping as a kid and just loving just going off I mean like six seven eight nine ten I don't know if it's like a different time I don't know if the 80s were like super safe or whatever and like now it's horrible but you should just wander off and just get lost in the woods and it's now you can't exactly get lost in Yosemite there's like there's like one road that like loops around the whole valley so if you get lost you got a lot going on up here or not a lot going on up here but just the idea of just going out and just, I'm just gonna go. I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna head out, walk in the woods, I'm gonna get rained on. I don't know what I'm gonna see. I don't know who I'm gonna pass. I don't know who I'm gonna talk to. I don't know what's gonna happen. But there's something like very, I don't know, is it primal? Hardly, I mean, look at them, I'm all dressed up like, and just a little bit of rain and it's 50 degrees. So, so primal is probably not the right, right word, but there's something very, well, primal, okay. So there's obviously like a, you know, the best of humanity, the worst of humanity, all this stuff, you know, different circumstances are gonna bring out good in people, other circumstances bring out the worst in people. A place like Yosemite is one of those places where it's like the best of humanity. You know, like people from all over the world, different cultures, races, ethnic backgrounds, political beliefs, all that stuff can all come together here and all be in the same mindset, just loving being in nature and being in such a wonderful place and a beautiful place and you get these people like today, like just walking on this path. People have no idea what the hell I'm saying other than hi, because they speak whatever language they speak. But we're communicating like the exact same thing. We're both saying, isn't this place freaking awesome? Aren't we both so lucky to be here? Have a great day. Actually, not even have a great day. I know you're having a great day because you're here. And I'm having a great day too, because I'm here. You don't get many places like that. This place is very, very special. Even if you can't appreciate anything or any beauty anywhere, this is one of those places where you like can't, you can't ignore how beautiful it is here. And the fact that you can just walk out the door of wherever you're staying or walk out your tent or walk out your hotel or wherever you are and just walk around and just get quote unquote lost, it's, Pretty, oh, special, very special.